What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some breaking news out of not the action figure or WWE action figure communities, but we do have some announcements regarding, or one announcement, one official announcement from WWE itself. It posted this statement here on their Instagram page, their official Instagram. You can see here it says, WWE official announcement in coordination with local partners and government officials, WrestleMania and all related events in Tampa Bay will not take place. However, WrestleMania Mania will still stream live on Sunday, April 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern on WWE Network and be available on pay-per-view. Only essential personnel will be on the closed set at WWE's training facility in Orlando, Florida to produce WrestleMania. Now with this news, guys, this is like really massive news just for a lot of different reasons. Obviously, the pandemic that's going around the world right now has had a huge impact on everything. I mean, everything involving wrestling, everything like from the economy to just people going to work to just anything in general. It has affected everyone, it seems, in this huge ripple effect. Unless you're living on an island somewhere and you got everything taken care of like Cristiano Ronaldo over there just living it up then uh, this has definitely had an effect on you and it is affecting Wrestlemania you guys can see here that I guess the government and just local people in Tampa Bay um, I'm guessing the mayor and everybody that has to do with Tampa Bay and you know events that take place in Tampa Bay have decided that Wrestlemania cannot go on I mean it, it sounds like a great idea to me at least for the postponement or cancellation of Wrestlemania I honestly feel that maybe a postponement would feel better because I feel like Wrestlemania inside of the training facility or the, the performance center is just not going to be Wrestlemania. You know, you can say it's Wrestlemania, you can call it Wrestlemania, you can have all the matches that will take place at Wrestlemania at this show at the performance center, but that doesn't mean it's Wrestlemania. I feel like what makes it Wrestlemania is the big venue, the stage, the, the everything that embodies Wrestlemania. So, I mean, you could just call this a regular, it's like a practice or something. The arena is going to be pretty much empty outside of a couple people, I'm sure, that being the crew, that being who sets up for the thing where we're going to have Michael Cole, I'm sure, on commentary, maybe even Triple H on commentary like we had on SmackDown Live. We have Monday Night Raw tonight, which by the time you're seeing this, probably Monday Night Raw already went on, and it'll be similar to that. There will be no fans in the crowd. There will be nothing like that, but WWE did make an announcement, and I'm glad that they actually made a decision. At least we can look at it like this. At least they made a decision at least, you know, a couple weeks out from WrestleMania or two or three weeks out from WrestleMania instead of, you know, it being a few days before WrestleMania or whatever because right around this time is when they officially go down to Tampa and start setting up for the event usually a couple weeks out they get the you know the the surrounding area for the arena they get the arena set up they get the stage built they get the ring built they get all of the different things going on uh, you know leaked images of the stage would stop drop or start dropping all over and stuff like that and unfortunately that is not going to be taking place this year there's not going to be a big WrestleMania stage there's not going to be a big WrestleMania venue very unfortunate for the people who bought tickets to the thing or people who, you know, had planned their lives around this event taking place. I know for a lot of people, they take a week off work, they go down there, they enjoy all the festivities, they go to Access, they go to the cons, they go to WrestleCon, they go to all the different things that are taking place around the area surrounding WrestleMania. So not only is this going to affect WWE, WrestleMania, and WWE fans, but just wrestling in general and the economy of Tampa Bay because uh, a lot of things do take place around the area. Like I said, WrestleCon and stuff like that I'm sure will be canceled if it's not already canceled or postponed and this is just crazy man it's so it's it's insane that we're going to get a freaking 11 12 match card inside the performance center and i i doubt that it's going to be a big show is or at least longer or bigger than it already was i feel like they're going to cut it down to maybe six seven matches and they're probably going to limit the show to three or four hours instead of the seven that we're accustomed to because it does say that it'll start at april uh, april 5th 7 p.m eastern the pre-show will probably start an hour before that if we even get a pre-show. I don't know how they're going to do this exactly. The details will obviously be released in the next few days, but this is absolutely insane, man. I cannot believe that this is actually going to take place, but um, I think it's for best. Again, like so many people come from like all over the world. We have travel bans in place right now, and due to everything going on, uh, I get this makes a lot of sense because you don't want 100,000 people, and then you're not even counting access, which I'm sure even more than that come to, and you know, 
know, meet and greets with fans, people all over the world touching, hugging, shaking hands, introducing, you know, fans interacting, all close-knit and personal. It's just a breeding ground for uh, a disaster to happen, a big spread to happen. So it totally makes sense. I understand the decision. I honestly feel like it probably, again, should have been postponed. But if this is what they feel is necessary, you know, they usually do, you know, the show goes on. I don't expect them to miss a show, guys. I really expect them to have the every show taking place at the Performance Center and uh, every pay-per-view taking place at the Performance Center until everything clears out. I really do think they're going to do it. Vince McMahon is definitely going to keep the show going and make sure that he's still getting, you know, his ad checks and stuff like that. So I know this man did not want to do this, but uh, I'm guessing his hand was forced in this scenario because, you know what, uh, it, it would hate to, I would hate to have that on my conscience if you carried this out and then uh, everything went down. So, uh, that is pretty much it, guys. We have an official announcement by WWE. WrestleMania will be taking place at the Performance Center. It is still going to take place. It will just have, like, zero fans, which is going to kill the whole atmosphere. I really don't know how the hell we're going to make it through the show because uh, the fans are what make it. You know, you can watch the greatest match ever, but if there's no, you know, fans reacting to it or anything like that, gonna be just, I don't know, boring. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get through this, but I am gonna review the show and everything like that, so I guess you guys can stay tuned for that. That's gonna be very interesting, to say the least. But, uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hate that, you know, this is what it is, but, uh, I guess we're still getting WrestleMania, if you guys are excited about that. Not gonna be the same WrestleMania to me, though, but let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I honestly feel like the talent should just take this time off until everything blows over, you know, get some injuries healed, spend time with family, but the show must go on. On, I guess in Vince's head and we just got to do what we got to do but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you